Hello everyone, it's Kados here, bringing you episode 12 of Crash Bandicoot 2, uh, Cortex Strikes Back. And we are nearing the end of this LP. We've only got four more levels to go, and the final boss. Um, but last time we defeated Engine and his gay little robot. Um, then we did Piston Away, which was... Oh, Piston It Away, sorry. Which was an absolute pain in the anus hole, because I died like 50 times. And, um... Yeah, space. We are in space. All right, so this level we're going to do rocket, which is which is a new kind of level we haven't seen yet. But um, but um, it's quite an interesting level actually because the controls are really hard to get used to. But once you get used to the controls, uh, all you have to really do is get the crates and get to the end of the level. So. It's like, up is down, and down is up. The controls are inverted. Oh, I see the Earth. Hello, Earth. I see my house. There's Australia. I don't know if Australia's actually. What happens if you go all the way down here? Do you die? No, you don't. Oh, wait, you go underneath. Get get out of there. Um, so yeah, so... Basically, X is to go forward. Circles go back. And up and down is inverted. You can still spin. But, um... Yeah. I keep saying but, um... It reminds me of that How I Met Your Mother episode where they turned Robin's show into like a drinking game because she says butt on the time. I'll, I'll try and stop that. Get... That's another thing with this level, you keep getting stuck. It's, it's very glitchy. I don't know if it's, if it's just my copy of the game. And for some reason, you can't... Some of the sound effects aren't working, which is weird. I think this game is nearing the end of its life. I think after this LP, I'll be putting it into retirement. What? Ah, oh, I hate that pipe. This episode is actually cursed, believe it or not, because this is the third time I've tried to record it. This is like the first time I tried recording it. God damn it. I shouldn't be dying this much. Um, yeah, first time I tried to record it, my game was really starting to freeze a lot, and I had to give the game a bit of a break. Second time I recorded it, um, the commentary was really crapola, so I started again. And don't die on this pipe again, please. And I'm really hoping it's not starting to freeze again. Get out of there, Crash. I keep getting stuck. <laughs> Be careful of those guys, because they will electrocute you if you hit them at the wrong time. And also those wires will electrocute you that are flopping up and down. Ah, uh, what? Get it. Get the, get the face. Thank you. But I, I believe this is the outer layer of Cortex's space station or something like that. Well, we're not actually going through time or anything. Because that last level we're in, in um, Cortex's engine room or something. I don't know. Whoa, explosions everywhere. Whoa, look out. Oh, that was so close. The game's actually freezing a lot this episode too, so I'm a bit worried. Alas, Crash Bandicoot 2 disc, I hardly knew the... But I'm afraid I'm going to have to put you into retirement after this LP. I'm sorry. It's a very old disc. It's definitely done its job though. Oh well. I'm hoping that, um, because I ordered a disc off eBay, I'm hoping, which I'll be doing for my next LP, I'm hoping it's actually nice and in nice and good condition. Alrighty, that's Rocket out of the way. There's no cutscene, we'll just jump straight into Night Fight. Because that's what the hipsters do these days. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I'm actually really excited because this series is nearly over. And this is actually my favourite of the Crash games, Crash 2. I liked the other ones, Crash 1 and 3. But, uh... I think Crash Bandicoot 1 is definitely the hardest of the uh, trilogy. And Crash Bandicoot 3 was good. But I think the how they brought in new gameplay mechanics and stuff like that... I don't think it was really that necessary. 
because it just kind of made the levels, the level, it just made the level design redundant for that game. Because that's what Crash Bandicoot is. Crash Bandicoot 1, because the controls are so basic, it was just jump and spin. Um, it was all dependent on the level design and everything. And in this game, they brought in the the dash attack and the, the big skid jump thingy. I forgot what it's called. And the level design was still good and still, you know, made the game challenging and stuff like that. But definitely, Crash Bandicoot 1 is the hardest and... I think Crash Bandicoot 3 is also very hard. This is probably the, the easiest of the three. So before I started ranting about the Crash games, make sure you get uh, that you don't die, so you can get the death root, the death root place thingy, and then you can just die there because we have the gem. So uh, yeah, AIDS. I keep saying that for some reason. We should all do drugs, because drugs are good. Last time I recorded this, I kept dying here for no reason. I think there's a ghost in a level. It's because this level's, this episode is cursed. Oh, I want that life. Get it. Yes. Yay, I got a life. I'm so tired and depressed. I've got to go to school tomorrow. So I'm just like, ugh, why? I don't want to go to school tomorrow. I guess school isn't that bad, though. It's fun. I get, I'm doing what I like to do, and I enjoy it. One of my friends actually offered me if I can do guitar lessons for his brother, so I've got to do that. And he wants to he wants to pay me, but I said to him, no, don't pay me for it, man, because that's what I want to do as a career. I want to get experience for it without kind of having to, you know, charge for it. I'll just get these before you get that firefly because you have to conserve your light. It's very important. Oh, I thought I was going to die there. Whew. Also, take your time here. Make sure you, you spend as much time as you need crawling underneath those nitros. Because explosions hurt and are bad for your health. I hope we nearly get done with this level. I might even be able to actually get another level done this episode. I'm hoping so. Alright, when you get down here, very important to go backwards. Um, I think there are... Uh, there's like one enemy that... Oh yeah, the light one. Whoa, I'm stuck again. I keep getting stuck. Why? Yeah, get those two boxes there. Very important, because you won't get the gem. And you'll be frustrated getting to the end of the level and it says something like 44 out of 46 crates or something. Whoa. Sorry, filthy rat, but you were just in my way. So I have to kill you. <laughs> that rat actually looks really, really filthy. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even know what those things are. Lizard men's. Oh, get all here. There's our gem. Cool. And we got, we got the gem and the crystals. I mean, the crystal and the gems. I am happy with that. Right, so that's two levels out of the way so far. I might be able to get a third one done too. I'm hoping so. These episodes aren't very exciting either, with the commentary. Just mainly because I'm trying to get them out of the way quick so I can just start with the next LP. Uh, no cutscene? Alright, I'll be back momentarily. Alright, I am back. I just have to save and fix my audio and stuff like that. Um, now we are going to do Pack Attack, which is pretty much exactly the same as Rocket, just, it's a, probably slightly different. And then I'm going to call it an episode after, I'll call it an episode after that. Sorry, my game froze again then. I'm actually really sad about that. It just means that I know that I'm going to have to put this game down after this LP. Alright, so it's basically the same deal. You start at point A, you've got to get to point B, you got to fuck shit up and yell at people, yell at your cat if you think you need to. I know when I get frustrated at games I just yell at my cat. My cat doesn't like me very much, did I mention? Actually it does, like when it's really craving attention and it has no one else that's giving it attention, it's like, will you give me attention Kane? I know like I usually don't talk to you and stuff like that, but I really need attention and I'm desperate, meow. And that's actually what my cat sounds like. 
It's like, yo, I'm so depressed and meow. Whoa, how did I not die there? Wait, what does that say? 92461. Oh, okay. Very anticlimactic. Whoa, craziness. <laughs> Wacky wobbles. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids, because drugs are expensive. Alrighty. There's the moon. Hello, moon. You're looking very two dimensional today. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. This shouldn't take us very long, actually. I might just breeze through it. Like, these levels really aren't hard at all. Ooh. That was close. Checkpoint! I believe this game is, like, this level is glitchy. Like, these jetpack levels are just really glitchy with my, um... It's just because of my crappy disc. I'm actually really depressed about that. Because this was like my first PlayStation game. Alright, what's going on here? Whoa, what's... It's like... I'm in a crazy place. A hive and... Hive and... What is this? It's like a disco party. It's where Cortex comes to dance. With these minions. What are you doing? Playing with bombs is bad for your health. Zap! Zap! <laughs> Sorry, bro. Whoa. Oh, that was close. Oh, so was that. Oh, I didn't even realize I just collected a crystal then. I would have gone right past it. Whoops. Oh! We had a oogity boogity. Lucky for that. Yay! Green thing. Get it. Get it. Thank you. Oh, hey, Jim. Right, that took us like three minutes. That's way too easy. Alright, that's pack attack out of the way. That was actually really easy. This, that's what I mean by this floor is really super easy. It's just ridiculous. Alright, crush. Um, alright, I guess I'll conclude the episode there. Um, so now... Um, yes, that's, that's the floor, crush. Next episode we'll be doing Spaced Out and the final boss, hopefully. And I think that's going to be the final episode. So, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time.